Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will learn what is object-oriented programming. Programming can be mainly divided into two parts, procedural programming and object-oriented programming. Procedural programming is that basic way of programming in which we go into our main function and write each line of code there. So compilers start from the very beginning of our code, read it line by line for every step and moves to end. So everything is compiled at same place and this is called the procedural way of programming. And the other way of programming is object oriented where we have classes and objects. So what we are doing here is we are dividing that same chunk of code into different modules on their similarity and type. So in procedure programming, if we have a very large file of code where we have thousands of line of code, then it is very difficult to manage that code. You cannot manage that code easily because that code will be having so many lines and you will not be able to differentiate between different parts of that code and it will not be extendable. So to replace this, we have object oriented programming where we divide our code into modules which are small and have that specific code which belongs to that module. So what we are doing here is we are just putting things in different modules that are easy to manage. So now these, this is extendable code and we can easily manage it. So there are benefits of object oriented programming that we can reuse our code using objects. Data hiding is an important concept there. Modular structure which we have just discussed that we are dividing that large file into modules and code is extendable when we know about what we have in a particular module we can easily extend it. So these are benefits of object oriented programming and this will make more sense when we move further into this course. So let's move to our next session. Thank you.